becomes an emerging pest in Nebraska. They are native to North America and are common throughout both central and eastern Nebraska. Bagworms will feed on many different kinds of trees and shrubs, but seem to prefer spruce and juniper. Bagworms overwinter in last year's bags. In the spring, the eggs hatch, and the small bagworms emerge and begin feeding on the tips of the foliage. But a portion of the population actually shoots out stringers of silk, and they balloon off to other plants. That's how the bagworms move around our landscapes and move from one area to the next. Bagworms caterpillars complete their development in oh, late August, early September. At that time, the male bagworms, adult males, emerge from the case and mate with females who remain within the bag. The, ba the female produces her eggs and then drops to the ground and then those eggs overwinter to complete that summer generation. A female can produce between 500 and 1,000 eggs in a single bag. We have two approaches for controlling bagworms. The first, and in my opinion, the preferred method, is to physically remove the previous year's bags from the plant, from the juniper, before the, the eggs have an opportunity to hatch. And so all you need to do is go out and find the bags, pull them off and deposit them into some soapy water. So I'm just going to pull some of these off and put them into the, into the soapy water. Uh, the reason for the soapy water is they will sink and that will kill the eggs. You, what you don't want to do is pull them off and drop them on the ground because those eggs will still hatch and those caterpillars will climb back up onto the plant and, uh, and initiate an infestation. The second approach is to use an insecticide. Uh, we have a number of insecticides that are available. I like using the reduce, some of the reduced risk products. This would include uh, Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, which is specific for caterpillars, and uh, this bagworm, in fact, is a caterpillar. Uh, Bioneem oil, a product called Spinosad. All of these are available at your local nursery or garden center. The, uh, we have also have traditional products that we can use. Uh, they include Carbaryl 7, uh, Orthene, uh, which is acephate, or a permethrin, which is marketed, by, marketed as 8. Uh, we also have a number of different synthetic pyrethroid insecticides. The key to using any of these products is thorough coverage. The, we need to make sure that we cover the area that the, where the bagworm is feeding. Bagworms are a potentially serious pest in Nebraska. Now is the perfect time to go out, inspect your juniper, your spruce, and other ornamentals, and treat for bagworms if necessary.